All right, so we need a red laser beam. Okay. All right. So do do we get like artifacts that help us fight? We all right. We get a yellow laser beam. Okay. Is there gonna be a blue one? Is there gonna be a blue laser beam? Maybe a green laser beam? We get a red and a yellow. I called it. I. Ca I called it. We get a blue laser beam. <laughs> hey, what's up everybody? And welcome to the 3.18 hype train announcement of the announcement of the preview of the announcements beginning. <laughs> We're starting to get drip fed all of the announcements and the teasers and all that stuff that's coming out. And uh, we'll, see what, what, we'll see what happens. <laughs> Uh, Bex already said one thing on Reddit, which we'll see if that is a troll post. She said, no manifesto is coming, which, you know, and then she said, you can plan your, your league start builds. Don't do, please don't do that. <laughs> uh, you know, at least start preparing, but don't finish preparing. No matter what, right? Patch notes can change things. Be aware of that. Um, you know, no manifesto just means no super, super, super big changes, right? And everything can be subject to change. Who knows? Maybe Chris changes his mind and decides to also write a manifesto regardless. So hold your horses. Don't get overhyped about that one. We don't know what it's going to be. As you saw at the quick little clip there at the beginning, that's my reaction to the initial trailer or the tiny little teaser, honestly, not even a trailer. Who knows? We got red. We got yellow. We got blue. Then there, we see a little sentinel dude with our guys. And we see that like there might be a little bit of a debuff or something that's being put on enemies. Who knows, right? I think that's just about it. That's all we know. When I hear the word Sentinel, I think of the original X-Men cartoons from the 90s. Do, 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 do. Or Sentinel from our vs. Capcom, meant to enforce or provide Overwatch or anything like that, you know? So we'll see what that means. We see like little robot buddies with their dudes. The number one thing that I will always recommend is patience and temperance. And, you know, hold your horses. Don't get overexcited for crazy hype trains, you know, don't make too many assumptions until we have the actual final data. That's always what I'm going to be uh, advocating. But what I wanted to spend just a few minutes talking about today was my League Start plans. I want to do something a little bit different than I have done in the past. I also want to provide kind of a, a service and a path for you guys to follow along that maybe you can learn something or just have fun you know, seeing my successes and failures through a different lens than I usually go through. So if you've been following along for Man, I've been, uh, I've been doing this full time for like five leagues now, six leagues almost. And in generally the theme of what I've been doing on League Starts is either, you know, working, you know, workshopping or having a plan for really being build focused. And that's actually what a lot of content is usually focused on, right? Is, hey, what, what's a good league starter? Yada, yada, yada. And if you saw my video from last league and like, you know, in terms of my opinion, that has not and will probably never change unless something fundamental in Path of Exile changes. You know, the best league starters are traps, mines, totems, minions, and chaos stuff. TM, TMC, right? Traps, mines, totems, minions, and usually chaos-based things. You know, poisonous concoction, toxic rain, things bane, things that scale very cleanly with just gem levels, gem quality, stuff where you don't, it's not as gear dependent, right? Or, you know, especially Poisonous Concoction. You get your, you know, you roll up a nice Divine Flask and you're, you're good to go to red maps, right? That's just what a good League Starter is, right? And in fact, if you see content creators or anyone, right? You know, you go to the forums <laughs> or you go to Reddit or something, right? And you see the builds that are being proposed for potential League Starters. The number one lens that I would always, you know, recommend for your criticism and the way that you're trying to process whether these are good or not is just trying to like is it traps mines totems minions or chaos based or and the the uh, you know the other big filter there is what are the required uniques does it require a unique that is kind of difficult to get or at the very least does it require a unique like at all to even work right that's the that's the big thing to be careful about and then you know if it does could be dyadian dawn could be a quill rain something that might not be too hard to get but like if the build doesn't even work until you get that unique, right? Be very careful, right? <laughs> you know, just make sure that you have a plan for doing something like 
running heist or you know look at the league mechanic as well like will the league mechanic like arch nemesis this league drop uniques like candy so with all that said what i'm going to be doing this coming league is actually to work on my process and my approach to i'm, I'm i want to be less build focused right to the like you know as after what i just said right what is a good lease starter primarily like there are different flavors but as I said, Traps, Mines, Totems, Minions, Chaos, those are always going to be the best League starters. Unless something fundamentally changes about Path of Exile, that is it, right? Nothing, there, it, I actually don't find League starting content, especially at this point, you know, maybe I'm just a little jaded with that. But, you know, I, I think it's kind of well-trod territory, right? To the point where we just know what's good. And, you know, people will look at the patch notes and say, oh, instead of using Toxic Rain Blista, we'll do... Uh, explosive arrow blista, we'll do XYZ blista, put in whatever, put in anything, right, into Traps, Mice, Totems, Minions, and it will be strong, right? That's just the way, the way it is. For me, I don't find that too interesting, and there's other content creators that are interested in that stuff, and definitely check them out for, you know, if you want an idea or an inspiration there. So what I'm going to be doing is focusing on my league start itself and to the point where i'm going to actually i've never done this before especially as part of content create like a, a semi schedule and a very explicit plan for what i want to do because i think that that is kind of interesting instructive stuff that is not really served you know but in in content right now because you know there's so much focus and so much hype and so much excitement and you know maybe i'm missing out by not like jumping on the the league start train but you know, the, the main thing that I want to get is, you know, I want to connect with you guys better. I've done the league starter. I've done the builds a lot. And I want to find a different way to, you know, I just want to get as much information from my head as possible and my process, my learning uh, to you guys as well. And we can share and, and collaborate in that way. And so what I'm going to be doing is picking like very explicitly, unless something absolutely jumps out to me from the patch notes, you know, I want to leave that caveat there very explicitly have a boring league start plan right boring but effective is going to be my plan and then the interesting stuff that will be fun for you guys is following along and seeing like i want to document exactly what i'm doing right like day one i league started toxic rain or like poisonous concoction is actually what i'm leaning towards myself um like i league started poisonous concoction my plan is to play poco for two maybe three days uh, this is my trading strategy. This is my chaos recipe strategy. I'm going to do this for one day, two days. And the plan is to respec into something else, right? And then for I'm going to play that build for maybe one week or two weeks. And I will semi min max that build. And then the plan is to respec into, you know, the giga juice build, farm up. This is how I got my first hundred exalts, right? That's, that's kind of like the general plan. And, you know, try to do that within two to three weeks and just show, I want to like really detail and document that strategy so you guys can follow along and like truly, you know, learn and see that that type of stuff is not out of reach for you as well, right? I think that will be interesting at the very least to show what a good league start can be and how you can accomplish your goal of like, you know, if, even if, if it's a, a, you know, a, a more simply aspirational goal of I want to kill Cirrus on day three or something like that or I just want to experience all of the new content by X day or unlock, you know, new bosses or just like complete my Atlas or something like that. Right. And I think that that is, is, uh, that process and like, Hey, level with me, play with me, like try to follow along with what I'm doing, try to learn from the strategies that I'm documenting and telling you guys in a ton of detail, then, you know, you can get there as well. And, you know, my, my goal as always with path of exile stuff, is to elevate the understanding of the game where like i i just i really fundamentally believe that there is no black magic right out for people being successful in the game and being able to accomplish things right everyone is just a human you know based on the time and the timing that they're able to do things right like yeah if you grind 18 hours on day one you know you can obviously accomplish more but i don't think you have to do that and i do think success is is really within reach for the vast majority of players, as long as you're playing a few hours a week. <laughs> you know, if you play 30 minutes a week, you know, sure, all right, you're never gonna reach maps, right? But, you know, as long as you're playing within a reasonable time frame in a reasonable amount of time, I really do believe with the right knowledge in your brain, everyone can be very, very successful. 
and I want to document and and have as much of that out there for as many people to be able to learn from and everyone can be really successful and have multiple exalts and like you know I really want to I also want to destigmatize you know good builds <laughs> right I want to destigmatize that and show that everyone can be very successful so definitely get subscribed and follow along if you're interested in that process and having a really good league start with me uh so yeah as always thanks for watching and i'll see y'all tomorrow goodbye